you know, they just write us off as uh, these really bad things like homophobes, racists, white supremacists. And I mean, this is a very diverse group. There are a lot of Hispanic people, there are a lot of Asian people, Middle Eastern people like me. But so this whole notion that Republicans are a bunch of rich, white, middle-aged people, it's just a stereotype. People just aren't really willing to open their minds to the Republicans' way of thinking. And I really wish people would open their minds up. I wish we could have more civilized discussions. Yeah, so I table three and a half hours a day, two days a week. And I've been doing that ever since I took over as the recruiting director in the middle of the last term. So most of the time, people will come over, they'll have good things to say. They'll, a lot of people, especially today, they came out to us, they said they respect us being out there. They admire our bravery, you know? Because uh, there is a degree of harassment, there is a degree of uh, bad words that are thrown at us. Well, giving me the middle finger is pretty popular. Uh, usually, a lot of the times, people will take a picture of me and then they'll give me the finger. But whenever I, uh, whenever I catch them taking a picture of me, I'll just try and pose for the picture. You know, I'll just go like, it's not too bad. Uh, it used to be a little annoying, but I got over it. It's pretty uh, interesting to be a part of a minority on campus. A lot of Republicans, at least before Trump won the election, a lot of us were really afraid to share our opinions with people. We were kind of afraid to admit that we support Trump. I wasn't really afraid to do it. I mean, I was walking around with this hat every day for a month leading up to the election, but a lot of people were afraid to express their opinions. I feel very proud to wear it. Especially since uh, Trump won the election, I mean, his victory in November really empowered us. It really empowered people not to be afraid to show their opinions. Well, last week actually, a group of students came up to us and they started harassing us. So they, the young democratic socialists were two tables away. So they went up to them first and they said to them, Oh my god, can you believe these conservatives? Do these guys think they're welcome here? Like, we, they weren't talking to us, but we could overhear them. Then they started coming up to us and without even asking what our opinions were of Trump or what policies we support, they just immediately started calling us white supremacists. And uh, no matter how much we tried to explain what we liked about Trump, what we didn't like about Trump, and there are a lot of things we, that we don't like about Trump, no matter what, they just kept calling us white supremacists. I've been called a white supremacist quite a few times and I'm actually Middle Eastern. Um, you know, I always try to stay as civilized as I can. I, like, I always try to keep a calm environment. But uh, it gets difficult when people just keep pushing your buttons, you know? It's really difficult to stay calm with them. One of the guys also has anxiety. He started shaking a little bit. So they said to him, uh, well, they didn't say it. They were kind of yelling at him. They were like, uh, hey, what the hell are you shaking for? Stop, what the hell's wrong with you, huh? Like, in a really uh, serious way. Yeah, so with this group that came up to us the other day, um, after a while, I just couldn't take it anymore, so I said to them, if you guys want to have a civilized conversation, if you want to be civilized about this, let's have a conversation. If you're just going to be assholes and you're just going to harass us, go F yourselves.